Hey guys, what's up? This is Jamo, and I'm really excited to bring you another video. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing, kind of doing a part two of Black and Speaking Spanish. And today I'm here with my friend Tamaya. And uh, yeah, and she, you are, obviously, I know you're Black, and then you're also Latina. And, but yeah. like, which, which, from which like country? Okay, so my mom is Puerto Rican and Cuban, mm -hmm. and my dad is African American. Mm. I see, I see. And today, and like I said in the first video, I kind of wanted to talk with people kind of like Tamaya, my friend, who have experienced kind of, you know, obviously, you know, being black and being Latin and kind of just about their experiences and stuff like that. The question I have for you is like, how do you, I don't want to say how do you cope, but like how, like, like how kind of, how have you kind of like gotten through kind of the rejection, I guess, from, I guess, the Latin side and the black side? Um, I haven't. I mean, there's really no coping with it. You kind of just get used to it. Mm. There's no real coping with it. Yeah. Um, like, have you tried to seek out, like, other people kind of like yourself, like, who are also mixed, like, as black and, like, Latin? No, I don't because I guess I've, like, when it comes to, like, people in, like, the black community, mm -hmm. um, they're kind of like, there's, like, a lot of hate for, like, mixed... <laughs> people yeah, yeah like yeah. there's a lot of hate mm. and it's like like there was this one time where this girl um it was something we were having some type of talk about black men or whatever mm -hmm. and she was like oh i hate girls like you you guys are always trying to take up all our black men and i was just like mm. damn i was speechless because <laughs> i'm actually you know like i'm black <laughs> and you just kind of like completely yeah. excluded me from yeah that experience like mm -hmm. at all yeah yeah actually Huh, that's interesting. And um, I used to be in the band at, in high school, so mm -hmm. um, a lot of people didn't like think I was black. Like my <laughs> ni my band nickname was White Girl. <laughs> like I'm not even playing. Uh, I mean, I got used to it because it, it was funny, but yeah. it was still like it was still like deep. It was funny on the surface, but like yeah. deep down, it was like the root was like this is not cool. Yeah, it's not cool. Like, what advice would you give to, like, for example, like, your younger self or to, like, you know, people, you know, in middle school and stuff like that who are going through, you know, similar experiences, I guess? Um, I'm gonna be real. Um, <laughs> be real, yes. <laughs> no, that's like, <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I mean, like, I guess I would just say, like, own it all. Like, mm. you know, just own every part of you. That's good. No, that's good advice. I mean, I feel like it's, like, simple, but it's difficult to do. You know what I mean? It is definitely difficult to do, but... Because yeah. it was, like, I don't know, like... When I got to my black school, I tried not to claim my Hispanic side. Like, I did tell them that I was Hispanic, yeah. but, you know, like... Y'all keep just putting me in one category, like, <laughs> just Hispanic. Like, I don't want to be just Hispanic. Like, yeah. I'm a part of the black community, too, so yeah. I am black. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I always had to, like... Yeah. Like, when we do, like, band performances or something, I would really urge my dad to go so people could see that my dad was black. <laughs> like, this is my dad. Like, my dad is black. Yeah. No, I feel you. That's interesting. That's interesting. And, yeah, and like you said, I think... You can't be afraid, because I think sometimes my, people might feel like nervous to be like, "Oh, I own this Latin side." It's like how can I say that? How can I say to own like both? You know what I mean? Because like, because for example, like for me, like I'm just African American, so I, I'm just I can I can say like singular. You could say like I just own this because that's all you know. That's who I am. But like with you, you can do both. I think some people they don't want to. Like, how can I say they don't want to? Or they're afraid to claim both. They just want to claim one or the other. Yeah, because people, like, people just, like, when you're, like, in multiple communities, like, mm -hmm. it's it's hard because, yeah. you know, people see this, this is what this one person looks like in our community, mm -hmm. and then that's just it. Yeah. Like, there are some people who are black and they're white. Yeah. And, like, their white side won't claim them because they don't look completely white. Mm -hmm. And then it's, like, their black side doesn't claim them because they don't look completely... Mm -hmm. So... It's kind of like... Yeah, but, but you just have to make the conscious decision that, look, I'm both, and just have to accept that. And I'm going to enjoy both, you know what I mean? I guess, kind of. Type of no, that's cool, it's cool. Yeah, it's 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 hard, but you just have to, like, accept... You just have to just say all parts of you. Well, anyways, well, thank you, Tamaya, for having this... Hey, this, welcome. This real conversation. 
on the tube. <laughs> very real. Anyways, guys, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope maybe you know you felt some sort of way about it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask uh, below in the comment section. Or if you want to share your own experiences with me, uh, go being you know Afri Af uh, being black and Latin. Uh, please feel free. Please feel free to write below as well. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, bye. Bye.